What's next for you? What's next for you? This is what's next one. I'm gonna give you a view. What's next for you? What's next for you? This is what's next one. I'm gonna give you a view. You see the moon? It look mad. If you have a campground at the lake, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, there's not many people out here this day. All right, I already paid for a parking spot. I checked it out earlier, but it depends if somebody parked beside me or not and everything. But it's gonna go from there, you know. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Got a little park over here. We are in the D loop. So I can go fishing right there, actually. Probably be a good spot. Alright. Go find a parking area. Alright, 43. You know, we out here. My first ever campground trip. It was beautiful. I like the sunset gonna be on that side. It's a cloudy day. Yesterday been sunny. Kind of mad that it's cloudy today, but it's all good. Uh, right now, I'm about to make some ramen a different way. You know, we got the, you know, just the regular ramen right there but we're not going to use that chicken flavor these go the uh, sweet chili flavor it's already on the noodles so we're definitely going to use those you know then i got uh some roast beef base which is going to be for our broth you know we've got the, a few right there we're just going to add a little garlic to it um the meat Proteins, crawfish meat, crawfish tails. Add a little seaweed to it. There we go. That'll be our little added sea salt. And so the way I'm going to, and then got my eggs over here. Then I got a bell pepper. And I got some green onions in here. And the reason why that's looking all bad in there because I had cooked some noodles in here earlier. Just some regular noodles I had just cooked in there just for breakfast. Because I was about to make this greatness for lunch today and for my dinner. So, you know, so, yeah. Let's bring up my little stove. You know, everybody got their own little stove how they want to use and stuff. And it's pretty windy out here today, but the good thing about it the wind is coming from behind me and everything oh yeah we're gonna get into this later i did make a video about the van life but i didn't really dive into it because i i, I didn't feel i don't know i just didn't 
you, you know how you was trying to wait for the right time, but it's never the right time. You should have just gone on in the first place and just start releasing videos with it. That would happen with that situation. But, yeah, so the wind is coming from that side. So we got the van right there, and I got this, the cooler bag in the way. And we have another surprise inside a cooler bag, but... You know, we might make this in to two videos. Maybe, maybe not. Might just be all in one video. But that'll be for breakfast. It'll be a weird breakfast. But trying something new. I, this, this is something new. I never have crawfish with the ramen and everything. Stir fry ramen. So it's going to be a whole different flavor and, and all that. Got the little kids riding bicycles and stuff. Having a good time today. Just, and like from what you can see is. It's one o'clock. One one o'clock is the uh, the time you that you can um, basically clock in in a sense, you know. But you don't clock in anywhere because the office is closed on the weekend. And plus, it's Veterans Day. Uh, this might come out a little after Veterans Day, but Happy Veterans Day! So, so yeah, we can get that rolling. Let me show you how to post. Actually, I got a review coming soon with this. I might drop the review before this video comes. You know, I don't know yet. So, so, yeah, let's go on top of here like this. You know, just a small stove. I will be upgrading to a two burner, but that's once I start building everything inside the van. But we'll get there. So, right now, we got the crawfish rolling. You know, I done with put the garlic on it, we're just gonna garlic that up. And then I'm gonna put the, the bell pepper in with the crawfish and we're gonna get that bowl. You'll see that. Ooh, right now, look at that. The crawfish smell amazing. Ooh, got the bell peppers in there. We ain't chop it up that good, but you know, we just get them all in there. You know, that, that, that bring the art to it. You ain't gotta make everything look super fancy, but once it's done, Ooh, once it's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a little fire tonight, too, you know? <laughs> I just, I ain't bought no firewood, honestly. You know, some people have left some wood in there. From the last time they've been here, I'm pretty sure it dried out because it didn't rain. And uh, look at all that. Like, all the trees right here. I didn't cut nothing off any trees. But if you just walk through, you, you'll find yourself some dead sticks out there. And... Instead of buying wood, all this wood out here, I'm talking about the ones that already fall off the tree and die, the branches. You can even see something right there. You know, so, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's all good right there. Because crawfish is already cooked and everything. You just want to heat it up and make sure it's really cooked. And, uh, bring some more flavor to it with the, the garlic put a little oil in there too you know to kind of keep it nice and moist with the water and the peppers is cooked the good thing about peppers too like if, if you don't chop it up fine or nice and how you really want them it gets soft once it's cooked you know so you can kind of dig around in the pot and dice it up a little bit more you know with a spoon it'd be much better with a spoon instead of a fork but and then just gonna just pour it right in here with that. Like I said, you know, I cooked some ramen earlier. I didn't wash it out or nothing like that because I'm about to make my ramen again. So yeah. So let's go ahead and pour these in the green onions. And the green onions will cook dealing with the heat. And I'm gonna have the top over it. And then we'll go ahead and put the ramen in. And we're not gonna cook the ramen all the way. We're gonna put a good bit of oil in it just to allow it not to stick. But you will see that. Sweet chili got a lot of good seasoning already in there, you know, and it even come with, you know, some onions, and I think those peppers too. So uh, we're not gonna even use none of this. And uh, yeah, got that rolling, you know. We're gonna let that go ahead and do its thing, and. Uh, Yeah, let that do its thing. And uh, with this right here, though, I'm not going to 
really record this part of it. Um, so I'm just gonna let you know. Make sure I waste some stuff. This right here, all you do is, you know, depending on how much water you want to use. Where is that? Where is that? Usually it's on here somewhere. So yeah, you just follow that right there. You can put more or less, whatever your flavor of taste is. You know, one teaspoon equals one cube or eight ounces of broth. So it all depends if you got this right here, which is like the paste, you know, and you can use one teaspoon. And if you got the cubes, you can just put one cube. Or if you got the, just the broth is already made, you just put eight, one ounce, you know, can. So that's how you get it done. But I'm gonna use two and a half teaspoons because I want that flavor to be in there. eggs and they boiling too with the broth and that's how it look you know just comes down to how much you add into it there we go we got that all ready together all we gotta do I'm missing a few things but you will see There we go. Oh, forgot one thing. There we go. Got crawfish ramen with sweet chili, bell peppers, onions, green onions. This one tastes amazing. Dang, this is good. ramen best ramen ever taste best ramen ever made you gotta give it a try definitely gotta give it a try Take y'all to the morning time. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the sunset. Maybe take a little walk around a bit. Or I might just wait till the morning time. And then take a big loop. I ain't gotta be out here until four o'clock. So I'm gonna be up early in the morning. You can see the sunrise by the lake. And I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Get a little toast in there. Mm. Yeah. It's a beautiful day today. Get docks all early. It's gonna be like six o'clock. Nine there. And yeah, it feels late like crazy. I'm gonna catch you in the morning. 
beautiful morning, you know, well, here's the case basically, uh, the sunrise is on that side, I'm not, uh, yeah, so sunrise from that side, so I can't see it rising up over the water, but the sunset was on my side with Josh, so, so I'm just enjoying it. Talking it all in. It seems like they got like a little something, something over there by the seats. All about the seats and the little stage area. You never know, you got people out here. Just uh, basically, not gonna be performing. Put some food or whatever. You guys need to be talking about something. You might have. See them seats over there. Yeah. I had a little bit of coffee, but not enough coffee. I was supposed to buy some instant coffee. So, the story yesterday, but I was so in a rush. Get down here. I didn't. But, uh, once we leave from over here, it's only a good 30, 40 minute drive back to the city. We will stop by Panera Bread and get a, uh, get some coffee because I got the unlimited sip program. So each every day, $5 a month. I can buy the coffee I want or any drinks they have. Uh, and that's all I mainly drink is like the coffee. You do got the juices. The juice is good. You got the lemonade and uh, 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 Avenger, I think, uh, Gaza or something. Um, I forgot the name of it. But if you know the name of it, the different uh, juices that's in Panera, please put it in the comments so everybody else can check it out. So, beach area right here. Amazing. During the summertime, see a whole bunch of like raccoon prints. Maybe a deer. See some deer prints. I know that for sure. I do see a lot of raccoon and deer. Oh, that's a dog print. That's a dog print. But on the other side, I've got seen the other beach over there. Uh, I did saw some deer prints. side right there back there you can see a, uh what you call it a dam yeah so just gonna get back on the trail start walking the trail around be out here for like another hour we actually out here to three o'clock so just gonna chill out mm -hmm. get back on the trail and enjoy the view Man, it's a beautiful day out here. And you know I like being by the water. If you if you was on the channel and, or just getting on the channel, go back and check out some of the Hawaii scenes, you know. I wish I did a little better at getting more footage out there in Hawaii, but I was doing a whole lot of other stuff out there too. We might be going back, maybe not, I don't know. But you know I like to be by my water. It's a beautiful lake out here. I'm just enjoying the day, taking a little walk. Hopefully there's a little bench over there. I'm gonna go sit over there by this bench. Yeah, we are about a mile in. You know, this is a seven mile trail all together. But well, we would not be doing the whole seven miles. 
today. So I'm just gonna keep on walking until the lights stop. Gotta use the bathroom. I ain't need all that, but the bathroom's closed, so probably gonna be out here for like another 20 minutes or so. Make my way to the bathroom and uh head on back into the city. Get ready for work tomorrow. All right, we officially about to roll out. You know, hope y'all enjoy the trail. Hope y'all enjoy the view. I hope y'all learn something new with the cooking and everything. So yeah, you know, we we're gonna get in more into the van life. Like I said earlier in the video, I didn't, I made a video probably like two months ago. Say I'm starting the van life, and I did made uh, uh I recorded some videos of me taking some things out, putting things in. Uh, I do got those videos. I will release them very soon. And um, before I start actually building more on the van, um, this this time it's a thousand percent. Th I'm a thousand percent sure. The video, it's we start in van life videos. We are gonna do it. Cause if you're on the channel, you know I do a whole bunch of reviews. Uh, I cook hiking trails and all that. And um. Yeah, so we definitely gonna get the van life started and everything. So yeah, uh, with the camping, this camping trip, first time ever, far away from the city, about fifteen miles away from the city, not in the city, and everything. It was like, it was more for me, cause it, this is a set up campground, but I want to go just in places that's not a set up campground at all, just pull off on the side or find a trail somewhere and just spend the night out there you know so i want some more camping i did camping in colorado but with that situation i was with people camping with people but now i'm just by myself on the road and uh like my biggest thing is like i overthink a whole lot of stuff you know i overthink a lot and so you know just getting over the fear of anybody that's out to get you when you got the campground in the sense that's how I kind of think and it's like who's around me who's around me and then last night I thought about that and I just relax sit back watch some music uh movies and stuff pitch black pitch black looking out the windows and stuff but that's what it is no lights you just wait from the city and that's the great thing of camping and yes we are going to bring a lot. I'm going to bring, not we, but I'm going to bring a lot more videos, not just at a patrol campground that's set up with bathrooms and all that. We're going to go off and trail, trail, trail. Because right now, by doing tonight, it really opened up my mind of just going, just pump it. Just go out there and enjoy yourself. And that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. What's next one? I want y'all to think about subscribing.